Prince Harry should have better prepared Meghan Markle for royal life but didn't want to put her off by explaining how hard she would have to work, royal expert claims. Prince Harry should have better prepared Meghan Markle for royal life but didn't want to put her off by explaining how hard she would have to work, Prince Philip's biographer has claimed. The Duke, 36, and Duchess of Sussex, 39, are currently living in their $14 million Californian mansion with their son Archie, having stepped back from royal duty in March last year. Robert Jobson, who penned the biography Prince Philip Century, has said Meg she is mostly Prince Harry's fault for not properly preparing Meghan for life in the royal family, telling Page Six, he's not the sharpest guy, but maybe he didn't want to explain it. It's hard work being a member of the royal family. People think it's not but it is. It's not glamorous and maybe she didn't fancy that after at all. Meanwhile he said Harry's lack of guidance may have meant Meghan started life in the royal family with little understanding about how the firm worked. He said that the mother of one appeared to have little understanding of their pecking order and struggled to come to terms with it. Robert revealed when she saw that she had the little house and William and Kate were the number one couple she probably didn't understand that and thought, well we can do better than this and start commercializing the royal family, well frankly that's not acceptable. He added, I blame Harry really because he knew the story but he wanted his cake and to eat it and you can't do that. After stepping back from life in the royal family, the Sussexes signed multi-million deals including a £30 million partnership with Spotify and a £100 million partnership with Netflix. It comes amid reports that Prince William will struggle to ever forgive sister-in-law Meghan after she sat down with Oprah Winfrey to attack his beloved wife and then accuse his flesh and blood of racism and uncaring behavior towards someone with mental health issues. Sources told MailOnline's Dan Wooten that Prince William cannot countenance the way the Duchess of Sussex has treated his wife, saying, Kate attempted to try and help Meghan understand the responsibilities of royal life, but her efforts were constantly misinterpreted. But to name Kate so publicly during the Oprah interview as the person who made her cry was beyond the pale. Meghan would have been acutely aware that Kate is powerless to fight back. Despite her growing confidence in public, Kate is a deeply sensitive woman who likes to stay behind the scenes as much as possible to support her family and the country. William thinks the way she has been treated is unfair. Prince William is said to have had doubts about the speed of Harry's relationship from the beginning. He reputedly tried to encourage his brother to slow the pace of their courtship, which exacerbated tensions between them. After Meghan entered the family officially, William began to question some of her motives, with another senior royal source explaining, William soon began to wonder about some of Meghan's traits and motivations. He was worried that at times she seemed to be more concerned about her personal progression or profile over the wider goals and aims of the royal family. But he largely kept any reservations to himself as he desperately wanted her to be happy and appreciated the huge adjustment of entering the royal family. Following Megshi though, everything changed. He could no longer hide his true feelings because he felt like she had publicly attempted to disrespect his family and the Queen. 
It comes after royal biographer Angela Levin said Prince Harry and Meghan Markle face being ditched from the royal family by Prince Charles as he streamlines the monarchy. She thinks this could be the point at which the Duke and Duchess are cut loose. A smaller sized firm could see just Charles, Camilla, William, the Duchess of Cambridge, Princes George and Louis and Princess Charlotte as senior royals.